There are low budget films and there are low budget films, but you know what? It doesn't matter. I admire anyone who can get a full length feature film completed. I mean, even Ed Wood deserves to be applauded for getting as many films made as he did. In this episode of The Stream Hunter, I'm going to talk about a seriously low budget but wonderfully charming film. And I hope no one during this video thinks that I'm in any way poking fun at the filmmakers because that is not my intent. Well, hello there, Old Man Kelly here, Jeff to my friends, and you can call me Jeff. Well, it's time for another episode of The Stream Hunter. That's where I search out streaming services for rare gems or unusual films, and today I think I found one. A film that redefines the phrase low budget. It's a film called Cosmic Blast from a Wisconsin-based company called Moron Productions. Now I need to say that this film is not for everybody. There's those that just won't get past its quality or, or lack thereof. Some just won't get the joke. I looked at the reviews on Amazon Prime Video's website and either people got it and gave it a good review or they hated it and couldn't understand why others gave it a good review. The thing is, Moron Productions doesn't apologize for their low budgetness, they seem to embrace it. Or at least that's what I thought. And to me, that was all part of the charm of this film. In Cosmic Blast, the interiors of the ship have the appearance of an old farmhouse and that's because, I can only assume, work filmed in an old farmhouse. No attempt was made to make it look like a spaceship or futuristic or anything. There's not even a lava lamp. It just looks like an old house, complete with wooden doors and windows. To enjoy a film such as this, you must accept it and go with it. The film starts out with five people in a sex robot that are being interrogated by a man from the communist-controlled government, the new Soviet Republic of Planets, about them possibly smuggling something aboard their spaceship. Then we flash back to the story of how these five people all came together and their adventures in space. There are two brothers who find the old derelict spaceship and have it fixed up, another couple of scientists who invent some sort of secret weapon, and an unlicensed dentist who becomes the ship's doctor. The film's cheesy, completely crazy, silly, but totally family friendly. You should give it a try, but keep an open mind when you do. It probably won't come up in your Amazon Prime queue, so you have to search for it, but it's there. Now, while I don't think any of the cast is in danger of winning an Academy Award, I do think they all did a pretty respectable job. There were some charming moments between Rusty Oppenheimer, played by Betty Bonning, and Norman Zazzle, played by Ben Hur, who... Ben Hur? Really? They're the two scientists who unlock another mystery of the universe that could destroy everything. And Tina, the dentist, has some pretty funny moments, like when she talks about wanting to be a spider, or how we need another word for the word fine. Now, as a writer, producer, and director of low-budget shorts, I know how hard it is to make these, so my hat's off to anyone who can complete a feature-length film. In this case, it was a man named Michael Butt. He wrote and directed this. Now, I love the humor, but I think, Michael, you could use a cinematographer, as some of your, sh your shots were, well, shall, shall I say, questionable, but in a way that adds to the charm of the film, so maybe that was your intent, I don't know. Like I said, this film isn't for everybody, but give Mr. Butt a little love and go watch Cosmic Blast on Amazon Prime. You'll be glad you did, at least I think. Anyway, this is another episode of Stream Hunter, thanks for watching.